Welcome back to IPCPR 2017 with Cigar Federation. I'm Trip here with Sean Williams, brand ambassador for Cohiba. What's up, man? Uh, we're here in front of the Cohiba Blue. Can you tell us about this this new Cohiba Blue? Absolutely. So Cohiba Blue is uh, I sort of like uh, liken it to the Porsche Boxster of the Cohiba line. It's the entry level vehicle okay. for Cohiba. Yeah, yeah. So um, and it's it's a real different departure. Cohiba is uh, is historically known for Connecticut Broadleaf, Cameroon, mm -hmm. Pelota Cabano, of course. This is a different departure in that the binder and filler is Honduran, uh, specifically Olancha San Agustin. Uh, again, that's the, the I'm sorry, the, the wrapper and the binder is Olancha San Agustin Honduran, which is a big departure. Uh, three country blend, a little Ometepe from Nicaragua, a little Honduran from the Hamastron Valley, uh, and uh, and also the Pelota Cubana, which again is something that's common across the Cohiba portfolio. Yeah. Uh, but what's also special about this cigar is the price point. It's a Cohiba cigar, mild, medium, really good flavor, a lot of character, good profile, Basically sub ten dollars, eight to ten bucks. Hey Shorty, off camera, he's trying to sneak in. Shorty's down there, off camera. <laughs> My man, Shorty Rossi. Um, yeah, so it's just just a, a, a very approachable, uh, well balanced cigar with good character at a great price point for Cohiba. Again, eight to ten dollars. Uh, cigar's done exceptionally well. I uh, wish I could take credit for the success, but I didn't start until <laughs> May. Cigar launched in April, but it's been one of the most successful launches in General Cigar in decades. It's done very very well. Uh, so the market's really responding to it. So we're excited. Great. Thanks for telling us about it. Uh, let's move on to the Makassar. Yeah, let's go to the Makassar. Here we are at the Makassar. Uh, Sean, why don't you tell us a little bit about this one? Well, so we talked about the blue, which is sort of the, the entry level for Cohiba. Um, and now we're at the other end of the spectrum. The Makassar is the top of the line Cohiba as far as regular production. Uh, Makassar actually references the wood. Uh, Makassar is a very rare uh, Indonesian ebony wood. Uh, typically, it, uh, it's very expensive. If you see a Makassar humidor, I mean, you're talking fifteen hundred, two thousand yeah. dollars. So we took the Makassar ebony wood and reconstituted, uh, reconstituted it in the form of a box. So that's the packaging. The packaging is really just exceptional. Uh, I think it plays well. It's not over the top, but it's very elegant, very well appointed. So great packaging, but also just as importantly, great cigar. We're talking a Honda uh, Honduran Rosado wrapper. Connecticut Broadleaf Binder, Nicaraguan Dominican Filler. Uh, I think overall my favorite cigar in the Cohiba range. Um, just a, a beautiful medium body cigar for avid smoker. Medium body, flavorful, savory cigar. Uh, um, just, just a classic, complex, well-rounded cigar. And, uh, and it really, really, really presents well uh, in, in the packaging. Again, it's at the higher price point, so we're talking from the $23 to $24 range, um, 10 count box, uh, something really special, and uh, really excited to have it back as a regular production item. So uh, the response has been really good at the show. So hopefully you see it on the shelves uh, with your retailers going forward. So Yeah, it sounds pretty great. Thank you for Absolutely. taking the time to My talk pleasure. with us. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Thank you.